All right, so we're gonna continue the reassembly of the N55, uh, ending in serial number 7701. Uh, you guys recall the last time we installed the lower main bearings. We put our crankshaft in, we check our main bearing clearance with the plastic gauge, all within the BMW specification. Uh, lower halves are still installed, the shells are installed into the bed plate. So we're gonna go ahead and apply assembly lube install the crankshaft and we are going to check the axial end clearance as well as check the breakaway torque and the rolling resistance of the crankshaft with the bed plate off i'm going to also check that with the bed plate on uh, but for now right now we're going to go ahead and check our axial end clearance lube up the bearings with some red line assembly lube and check our breakaway torque and rolling resistance okay All lubed up, ready to go. Okay. I even lubed up the uh, thrust side bearings there. Okay. We're going to go ahead and set up our dial indicator on the front face of the crankshaft hub to check the axial movement of the crankshaft. Uh, make sure that's within BMW criteria. Okay. I am going to thrust the crankshaft to one side. I'm going to zero this. Then we are going to thrust it to the other side. Zero. Five and a half thousandths, point zero zero five five. I've got a beam style. You guys can see here. I've got a beam style torque wrench, inch pounds and newton meters. Right around thirty seven and a half. All right, let's go ahead and check our rolling resistance. Okay, 
Rolling resistance, coefficient of friction is right within BMW criteria. All right, so crankshafts installed, axle clearance is checked, breakaway torque and rolling resistance has been checked. I'll check it back with the bed plate on. Next thing to do is we're gonna go ahead and install the bed plate. Uh, please go ahead and hit the sub subscribe button. Let YouTube know that you, uh, you like this, you find this interesting. Uh, hit the notification bell for when videos come up. I've got videos coming up every week and share. Okay You guys last recall We installed the crankshaft. We did our main bearing all clearances uh, You guys can check out that uh, video. I'll post a link up above um, also um, We did our we lubricate the bearings we installed the crankshaft we check our axial clearances. We check our breakaway torque, our rolling resistance. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the bed plate. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and install the bed plate and I'm gonna install the uh, Loctite uh, sealant after the bed plate's installed. Um, I know BMW calls for the RTV to be placed onto the block and then put the bed plate on. Um, but the factory sealant was the Loctite that was injected in here. And I'm just uh, concerned that putting the sealant on and then putting the bed plate on, you could get sealant in between the, the block and the bed plate and I could change the, uh, the center line of the bore of the bed plate because you're high and low. So I'm going to try to do it the, going back to factory and put the sealant in here. Uh, I think that's the right way to do it. You guys leave me a comment. Give me your opinion. Tell me what you think. All right, uh, let's get to it. Let's put this uh, bed plate on. Um, you guys can see I've gone ahead and put some uh, liquid molly uh, bearings paste on here. Just a little bit more. Uh, protection after our initial startup. All right, so we've gone ahead and done the initial 20 Newton meters. We're gonna go ahead and mark these bolts for our angle torque. So when we torque it, we can visually see the change.
All right, you guys can see all bolts have been torqued to 70 degrees and we've got a nice visual, everything is in a line. Okay, and our crank still rotates pretty smooth, smoothly. I'm gonna go ahead and recheck the, I am gonna go ahead and recheck the axial clearances of the crankshaft, breakaway torque and rolling resistance. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and install the outer aluminum bolts, okay? All right, <clears throat> breakaway torque is great. Rolling resistance is good, right within BMW specification. Axial clearance came down five ten thousandths, which is fine, not a problem. We're right within the specification. Brand new aluminum bolts. Three different size bolts. M10 times 37, M10 times 30 maybe. These are M8s. So initial torque is 15 Newton meters, 15 Newton meters and eight Newton meters. And they're all after that 90 degrees, okay? Fifteen Newton meters. All right, guys. So all the aluminum bolts are installed and snug. I used the impact just to snug it. Did not tighten it. Did not do anything like that. Just snug it up. Get them all. I'm gonna do my M10 bolts first which are gonna be the 50 Newton meters. And after I do each one, I'm gonna mark the head so I don't lose track. There's a lot of bolts here and uh, without a visualization, you can easily lose track. All right, so all the bolts have been initially torque. Um, larger M10s, 15 Newton meters. Smaller M8s, uh, smaller M8 or 8 Newton meters. Let's do our 90 degree.
Right, you guys can see everything has been torqued to 90 degrees. We are going to go ahead and blow out the injection nozzle hole and make sure that we're going to blow it each direction and make sure air comes through the seals at the end of the bed plates on both sides. So we're going to we're going to blow it this way and air should come out through the back seal. Once we blow it this way, air should come out through the front seal on this side here and we're going to repeat that for the other side All right, so lower bed plates installed. Um, I'm not gonna put the injection sealant in right away. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I may go ahead and uh, install the front main seal, install the chain drive, install the pistons, uh, take the main uh, piston rod clearances and so forth. So still a lot to do here. All right, so guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, right? Uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks guys, stay tuned for the next episode.